Hey everyone, we're back here in Bali. I'm going to show you guys a concept about how we can set attacks up inside control and transition to the mount and look to finish from there. So if you guys like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. Now go train. All right, so we're looking at Bravo chokes. And one of the really interesting things about this grip is how I can line up my attacks from one position to another. So if I start looking at my Bravo choke first from side control, I'm feeding this lapel out, passing it to my hand, and if everything goes my way, I can finish Aaron from side control. Now look, if that fails me, I can try popping up to knee on belly. Now from an elevated position, I can try to finish. If this is failing me, turn a little bit. If this is failing me, I can post, switch the mount, post my head and look for a cross choke to finish. Now, if Aaron's arms come inside to address the Bravo, Bravo grip, I can slide up underneath Aaron's elbow now. And from here, I can start looking on the arm. Okay, so what we're doing is we're thinking ahead on how we can line up our attacks, how we can line up on our attacks from multiple positions. So again, we looked at the Bravo choke from side control in the umbelly. Again, I can post, come down, post my head and look for the cross choke. But again, Aaron having good defense blocking my arm here, I can slide that knee up to start to isolate the arm. So again, if he's here defending the arm, it just gives me that opportunity now to switch attacks and go back to something that's fundamentally strong. Okay, so when, when you utilize an attack like Bravo, we're not limited to finishing in one position. Maybe if I was looking for, say, a paper cutter choke, that only works from side control. So if I'm trying to add like a system of how valuable a submission is, or how valuable uh, a choke is, one that is more fluid throughout the positions holds more value to me than the one that's only gonna work in side control. So when you guys start thinking of how I want to put a game together for myself, how I want to look to finish, the submissions that allow me to transition between one position to the other and also to the other fundamental submissions hold more value opposed to the ones that are only limited to one spot, that are circumstantial, right? So I want you guys to kind of like think about that for a sec and now try to apply this idea of transitioning from one position to the other and looking to utilize that Bravo choke for the finish. All right, let's try it, one, two.